everyone. I am Teresa from Teresa's Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, where I share art from my heart. We, uh, welcome to Creative Maker Week. How exciting is this? Um, I want to thank Ashley, who runs the uh, Profitable Sign Maker page, for organizing this, and um, Ashley, who helped her organize this. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I wanted to share a project with you, um, my shirt, artist. Artist might be a bit of a stretch, but I love to paint and I do love to create art and I am here to share a project with you guys So I'm going to do um, what's called a painted prayer. I like to call it inspiration art and it really is about um, Finding a quote a saying a song lyric something your mother said something one of your children said something a uh, little like blurb that inspires you brings a smile to your face makes you laugh makes you think of happy things and so that's what I'm going to do so you will need supplies and I'm gonna get started on that right now and you're gonna be amazed at what you need because you have it right around your house so I'm gonna turn my camera around and we'll get started so here I am hello so you might think I have garbage here on my surface. So I have um, a canvas board. I believe it's 12 by 18, but I'm not sure. But it's any size you want. Any surface you have, any size you have, this is your project, this is your art. I'm just going to inspire you to make something that will bring a smile to your face or someone else's. Then I have some household stuff. Little bubble wrap, big bubble wrap. And I took apart, this is what's inside cardboard. Cardboard has paper on one side, this corrugated stuff in the middle, and then it has another piece of paper. I took that other piece of paper off. And we're going to be using this too, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I have already put out some paint, and blue is my favorite color. I live on an island, although that doesn't, it's not as exotic as it sounds. I live on Long Island, which is part of New York. And we have beautiful beaches, but I do not live on a Caribbean island in the South Pacific or anywhere else, Gulf of Mexico or anything. So, no, I live on Long Island. We have very cold winters, but we have beautiful, beautiful beaches. And I love everything about the beach. So my favorite colors are blues. So I took out some of these blue paints, and we're going to get started. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. And I'm just, I'm going to do an ombre effect. I'm going to start out with dark blue. I might actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might do, what do I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do both corners. I'm going to work my ombre effect into the middle. I'm starting out with my darkest blue. So how would you guys enjoy the Creator Maker? A thon is that it? The creative maker a thon that's a little hard to say. So, if I knew it was going to be so hard to say, I might not have signed up to volunteer to do a video. I'm just kidding, but it is kind of hard to say. Um, especially with my um, you guys might notice I have a New York accent, people notice all the time. You know, I'll say, Oh my god, I'm from New York, and they'll be like, Yeah, we know. How do you know? Oh, I guess you can tell. So, I'm just going to base coat this in different shades of blue, and I might stand up a little bit, and you won't be able to see my head, and work my way into the middle, and lightening it up as I go. Oh, I got the wrong paint. So, how's everyone's week? What are you guys grateful for? What saying would you put on your inspirational art? Put in the comments down below. What makes you smile? Is there a favorite song that you like? A song lyric that reminds you of someone or something? I picked up my third color of blue. I'm getting light as we go. And that's it. I'm just blending, blending, blending back and forth. And this could be any design you want, obviously any colors you want. Make it your own. 
What paint do you have at home? What materials do you have at home to create an effect on the board? What's your favorite saying? What's your favorite Bible verse? Because that's what this is all about. This is just about, I move my paper towels, creating um, something that we like. It's been a real crazy time around here these past, I guess, few weeks. And uh, part of the reason why this little marathon was created, help you guys through what is a very trying week or month or time, however long this lasts, we don't know. And that's how easy. So that's it. I'm going to fix this over here because I wanted this a little darker. I kind of went over it. But you can do any that you want. You could do a solid color. It doesn't have to be, you know, ombre or all over the place like I had. You can make squares. You can make any design you want. All right. That is it for that for now. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to add some different colors to my palette here. I have this really cool, and if you want to know what colors I'm using, I'll show you. I'm using um, Folk Art Multi-Surface Prussian Blue, Ink Spot, Look at Me Blue, and then Blue Claire. And this is the order that they used them in from dark to lighter. And I use Multi-Surface Folk Art Multi-Surface Paints. They have a built-in sealer um, which makes it kind of easy later on if you have a mistake or something that you don't like i'm going to add a little bit of this bright um citrus green to my palette and i think i need a little bit of another color i can't think of what maybe turquoise you like turquoise yeah maybe i'll add turquoise I'll put a little bit of turquoise down for this project i gotta shake it up excuse me one second Oh, what's your guys' favorite colors? Put your colors in the uh, comments down below. If this was your project, what you would you be making? What colors would you be making it? What other kind of stuff do you have laying around your house that you would use to make this with? I'm going to leave this color out so I know. This is turquoise. I think I said that already. So I'm going to now take our bubble wrap. And there's two ways you can go about this. You can dip your bubble wrap into the paint on your palette, or you can pick paint up, and I'm still using the dirty brush, and you can paint it on to your piece, like that. And then I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna start stamping. No rhyme or reason, just laying it down. And as I do that, oh, I'm off the camera a little bit, sorry. As I do that, it's picking up a little bit of the other colors and transferring them and it's just giving a really, really pretty effect. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, sorry, I was interrupted with the phone call. I should have put that on. Quiet. Anyway, so that is our first layer. I took a little bit of that citrus green and I used those, this bubble wrap and stamped it around. And as I did it, it picked up some of the blue, the different color blues and moved it around. Now I'm going to, this is, I've never used such big bubble wrap. So this is a first for me, so we're experimenting. I'm going to see how it comes out. And I'm going to use the turquoise. Actually, I had another idea, too, for this, and I forgot to bring it in here. Maybe I'll go and get it. We'll see. So I'm just painting some on the bubble wrap. And then we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go and give it a little press and lift. Oh, it looks like lips. Look at that. That's so funny. Press. And lift. And maybe just add a few more over here. 
the same thing happened. It picked up blue as I moved around and spread it out a little bit. I like that. I think that's looking really good so far. And I'm going to go and take my cardboard. And this time I'm going to use, hmm, I'm going to go back to the, um, the citrus green. I like that from before. Okay, I'm going to paint it on here, then I'm going to use this to stamp designs. And I always tell my students when I have my paint parties to wait till it's done. Not, oh, I lifted up some of the paint there. But, um, don't judge a project until it's done. Art has a way of all of a sudden coming together at the very end. If you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome to the Creative Maker A Thon. I think I'm saying that right. Nice to see you. I'm Teresa from Teresa's Silhouette Spot for All Things Art. And I'm sharing with you guys a little bit of inspiration art using household items that we all probably have at home. Plus other things I'm not even using. You can use a toothbrush if you had a toothbrush. Um, all kinds of things. So I'm going to leave that for now. Now I'm going to get a stencil. I already pulled out my stencils. I actually pulled out two. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this one. This one might be a little too busy for this particular project. So I think I'm going to leave that aside. I think I'm just going to use parts of this swirl and I'm going to put out some I have this really cool sterling silver paint so I'm gonna put a little bit of this out because I'm going to stencil this on you don't need a lot of paint and I use um, makeup sponges not only do I use makeup sponges I reuse makeup sponges so I'm just going to cut the tip off of that for my stenciling it's going to be a little, the project is still wet. I'm going to shoot it with the hairdryer a little bit. So I can move my stencil around. One second. Here we go. So now I pulled out this stencil. It has these really cool um these curly cues on it. And I have my silver paint out and my makeup wedge. And I'm just going to I want to turn this around, I think. I'm gonna turn my whole project around. Okay. And I'm gonna put this in the corner. 
Ordinarily, I would tape it down, but I don't think that that's necessary right now for what we're doing. I'm going to pick up the silver paint, and I'm going to gently tap, tap, tap my silver paint onto my stencil. I really like how silver and blue look. My saying is a bit um, nautical, because like I told you guys, I live on an island. So, probably sounds like I live on Manhattan Island in New York City, but I don't. I live on Long Island, in the country, by the beach, that we can only use two months a year. So my saying is nautical. I love the beach. I love blue. And I'm just doing a little bit of this pencil with silver highlights. I can lift it a little to see. Yeah, it's working. You don't want any element of this project. Well, it's your project. You can have whatever you want. But you don't want, I don't, I don't want any element of my project to stand out except the quilt. So when I'm done, I want all this artwork to be in the background and my quote to be what catches people's eye. I need a little bit more silver paint. Can anybody come up with what would be you're saying if you were going to get out supplies tomorrow with some friends online or with your kids, what saying would you use for your inspiration art, your painted prayer? Song lyrics? Maybe. Bible verse? Whatever it is, it's your piece. You can do whatever you want with it. My mother always said, be a leader. Be a leader, not a follower. If I could put that on there. That would be something I would probably put on a piece of artwork like this that I made for one of my daughters. Okay, I think that's enough with that stencil. Oh, I love that. Guys, you see how pretty that Look how pretty that is. Look how the silver, which has a glare now, sorry. But look how the silver just pops out. I think that is so cool. So anyway, I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer one more time. Now, I'm going to do my saying in white. I have this stencil. Hope is the anchor of the soul. And I'm going to do it in very fresh, bright white. So I'm going to get a new plate. I use these. They look like paper plates, but they're actually plastic, and I use them and reuse them. So I don't know if I want to do my sign horizontally or vertically. Let me see. I'm going to do it vertically, and I'm just going to eyeball it. I think if I was doing it for a gift or for um, my Etsy site or something, I would get out my sewing gauge and I would measure it. But since it's for me and it's going on my wall and it's part of this tutorial, I'm just going to eyeball it. I think that looks good. Put it down. Right? The bottom might need to come over a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get a new sponge and I'm going to um, add the stencil now. And when you stencil, you want very light coats of paint. See, so you can still kind of see the pink through the sponge. And I will go around and I will do one light coat where you can still. See mostly 
base color. And then I will go back and do a second coat. Maybe even a third sometimes, depending on the coverage that I want. This one will probably just be two coats. These are so fun to do because they just, um, they have everyone's own personality. Favorite colors, sayings, whatever you want to use for uh, stenciling or the design in the background. Oh, I meant to show you guys something. I'll show you after I'm done with this. If you don't have a stencil or a vinyl cutter, I have a vinyl cutter as well, but I have this stencil and I like it. And I told you guys I'm all about the warm weather on the beach. Love, love, love. Summertime. Love the summertime. No, but I'm going to show you guys a trick when I'm done stenciling this. If you don't have access to stencils because you haven't been to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or wherever you shop by your house and or you can't find the exact right stencil, all you need is a printer and some paper. And I'll show you a trick. I happen to have some graphite paper, but you don't even need graphite paper for what I'm going to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. I hope you guys enjoyed my project. If you get a chance to make it, I would love to see what you guys came up with for your own design. You can find me at, um, my website is on the screen, but you can find me at Teresa Silhouette Spot on Facebook where I share more art from my heart and I love to paint and I do uh, painting tutorials and lessons and host virtual online paint parties and sell some product too but I love to paint so I think that's going to be it I'm going to lift this there we have it. A little bit of a glare again. You know what I do? I'm going to change camera views for one second. And you guys can see it. There it is. Hope is the anchor of the soul. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. I love how that came out. And it was pretty quick. I think it took it 30 minutes. I did have some hair dryer time in between. But so let me show you what I was talking about before. If you don't have access to a vinyl cutter, or a stencil with the saying that you like. I happen to have this laying around. Um, it is a photocopy of a stencil. But you could use your printer um, and your laptop, your keyboard, whatever, and type out um, your own saying in a font that you like and print it out like this. And then all you need, I, happen to, I have some graphite paper, but even if you don't have graphite paper, I have graphite paper. Um, can see it's been used. You can use graphite paper over and over and over again. I'm going to switch your guys around again. So I'm going to just show you a little bit. You put your graphite paper down. You put whatever it is that you want to write over it. And then you outline. And then you would go back in and fill in the letters later. I'll just do two letters. And see that? That would be on your project. And then you would just go back in and fill it in. Now, if you don't have graphite paper, it works just as well. You can take an ordinary pencil, cover the back of your drawing, of your uh, printout, of whatever it is, the saying that you want on your project. Scribble on the back with a pencil. I'm pretty sure most of us have pencils. And then when you put that down, watch, it's not going to work. Then when you put that down on your project, you have to use a little bit of force to outline and trace over the letters. 
you want to be a little bit neater than I'm being. And there you have it. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. I'm going to switch and put you down. Let's see. There. That's what I did with the pencil back, and this is what I did with the actual graphite paper. So to make one of these projects, you don't need a vinyl cutter. You don't need the exact stencil. You don't need all kinds of fancy equipment. You need common household items. Some little bubble wrap, some big bubble wrap, um, some cardboard. Whatever you have laying around that has texture on it, you can apply paint to it and you can make it the background of your inspiration art project. So, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I can't wait to read your comments of what your inspirational quote would be or what makes you smile. And I will see you soon. Thanks.